guys, welcome back to the Jade Alice channel. Today we're going to be looking at every single dress Charlotte Lucas wears in the 2005 film Pride and Prejudice. The first dress we're going to be looking at is the first time we see Charlotte in the 2005 version. And the first time we see Charlotte is at the Meriton Ball, and we see her there wearing this brown dress. It's a really nice dress. It looks fancier than Lizzie's, which is kind of nice. I also like Jane's dress here, but we're talking about Charlotte, not the others. But it's a pretty nice looking dress. I like it. Of all of Charlotte's dresses in this movie, this is probably my favorite. So we have the brown. It has a little ribbon or something in the middle, sort of roughly around the neck. Brown seems like a good color to wear to a country dance. It doesn't look like super clean like the ball at Netherfield. It's a pretty dress and it looks nice, but it also looks like it wouldn't get horribly ruined by being there. I mean, like a white dress, I can see getting sort of screwed up there. Now on to dress number two. So we have this dress here where her, Lizzie, and Mary are walking in Meryton. And they're talking, they're explaining to her about how Mr. Collins is going to inherit all the land. And so we have Charlotte in this sort of blue dress with like a gray or maybe a bluish gray um, cape, shawl, hood. What is it called? Charlotte's hat is kind of weird. I feel like Mary's bonnet is much more normal looking. But it seems like Charlotte would have been wearing something more fashionable than Mary Bennett. But maybe this is fashionable. I don't know. I'm not a historian. I'm a history major who has yet to take any history classes. The third dress we're going to be looking at is Charlotte's white ball gown. Now, at the Netherfield Ball, pretty much everyone is wearing white. One thing I thought was interesting about this part of the movie was that a lot of the other guests seem to have more um, Regency-style dresses, more, more historically accurate dresses, from my understanding of historic accuracy at this time, which is quite limited. I was thinking, maybe these dresses were just easier to make. Of course, Jane has a high empire waist, but Lizzie has the lower waist, and with so many empire waist dresses, um, maybe it was almost to draw attention to Elizabeth not being dressed the same. But this is about Charlotte, so Charlotte has a lower waist too. I don't think it's quite as low, I don't know if it's as low as Lizzie's or not. Also, can we just look at how they look at his feet when Mr. Collins talks about his lightness of foot? I did not think he died, Mr. Collins. I do not think it incompatible with the office of a clergyman to indulge in such an innocent diversion. In fact, several people, with her ladyship included, have complimented me on my lightness of foot. Also, can we appreciate Charlotte's expressions while Mr. Darcy is asking Elizabeth to dance? May I have the next dance, Miss Elizabeth? You may. I don't really like Charlotte's white ball dress. It sort of reminds me of Mary's white ball dress when I think about it. After Elizabeth's dance with Darcy, Charlotte's like right around the corner. I wonder if she's waiting for like Elizabeth to tell her how it went or whatever. <laughs> but anyways, I don't really have much more to say about that, so let's move on. Next time we see Charlotte, she's wearing this blue dress with a gray cape. And it looks like it's sort of a striped dress or some sort of pattern. In a TV show or movie that's like live action people, having several costumes but also re-wearing them is great because it sort of adds to a sense of reality about it because not everyone wears a different outfit every day of their life. Sort of like how I'm wearing the same shirt as I wore in my last video where I talked about Pride and Prejudice. This isn't really related to Charlotte but I noticed that after Charlotte leaves and Elizabeth starts singing again, spinning, not singing, she's not singing. <laughs> After Elizabeth starts spinning again, the first scene she sees is this, and I just find it a little confusing because there's like barns and the, these chickens, and then there's this boat. Am I the only one that finds that weird? There's, there's a boat in their yard, just like, why? Is it like a place for the chickens to live? A chicken jumped off of it like a diving board. I I can fly. We here have a still of the boat with the chicken mid jump off of the boat. Is this like a chicken house? Do the chickens just play on the boat? Is it like an old playhouse, playboat type thing from when maybe Jane and Elizabeth and the girls were younger? Maybe, well maybe it's not that old. Maybe it's like from when Lydia and Kitty were kids. Like, was this an old playhouse type thing? Did they just decide to park a boat in their backyard 
for the chicken's enjoyment. Sorry, I'm just confused about that. So if you have any ideas or if you have any behind the scenes information about this boat, or perhaps if there's a historical basis for this, please comment below. I'm 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 excited to hear. On to dress four. So this is the first dress we see Charlotte in after she's married. She's wearing like this plain gray dress with an apron that's either like white or a lighter gray. I think it's like a lighter gray or maybe brown. I'm not really sure how much money Mr. Collins would have had. This just seems like a sort of plain outfit, I guess, for working at home. She's wearing an apron. I don't know if they had any servants or not. So Charlotte and Elizabeth come in the house and Charlotte's wiping her hand on her apron, which made me think an apron would be really useful. Cause like when it's cold and I dry my hands on my clothes, I get cold and wet. But if I was wearing an apron, I could just dry my hands on the apron and not have to be cold and wet. Or I could just use a towel, but that's beside the point. Okay, it looks very gray in here. First I was thinking it was bluish gray, but I think it is just gray, which is kind of boring. Why would she choose a gray dress? It's kind of weird how Charlotte and Elizabeth sort of match the room they're in. So in this movie, they go to see Lady Catherine the same day that Elizabeth arrives. Charlotte, as you can see, is wearing a different dress here, which I kind of like this dress. I like this dress. I don't really love the gray and white thing she still is going on. I don't know why she's always wearing gray now. I like this dress better than Charlotte's white ball gown, although I don't like it as well as Lizzie's green dress right next to her. If I made a dress, a Regency dress, I'd really like it to look something like Elizabeth's green dress or possibly one of Kitty's pink dresses with the, I don't know, I'll show a picture. And of course the silly little feather. So Charlotte's two dresses after she gets married that we've seen now, they both sort of remind me of what one of the servants was wearing at Longbourn, which is a really nice dress. I mean, I like her dress just as well as Charlotte's. I wouldn't mind making a dress like this. I wouldn't probably choose this color and I wouldn't choose gray either. I would choose like green or pink or something. Actually, I'm probably gonna make it off-white because that's the color I have. So the next time we notice Charlotte in a different outfit is when Darcy comes in and talks to Elizabeth awkwardly for like no reason and then Charlotte comes in and he leaves because he's a weirdo. So this dress is kind of hard to see and I can't imagine that they would use a whole new dress for a scene like this where she's like there. Like, I don't know how long, like a few seconds. She's down the hall, so you can't even see what she's wearing. So I'm guessing they just used one of the other dresses we already seen. The last dress we're gonna actually look at is Charlotte's church outfit. She's wearing a different bonnet than the hat she was wearing before in dress number two, I think. It just looks like a gray dress. She's wearing the same gray cloak. It's not the dress that she was wearing at Lady Catherine's house because we could have seen the square neck and like the scarf underneath that. So this is either the dress that Elizabeth for saw and when she came to Rosings, or else it's some new dress that they invented just to be hidden under a cloak and not see the rest of it. I'm not saying that it's the first dress we saw her in after she was married, but it really looks like that dress to me. And I'm not sure why she's just wearing grey. Is it like some sort of... Is there some sort of symbolism after her being married to Mr. Collins, her life is grey? I tried looking up what like a clergyman's wife would have worn back then and I really didn't see anything. Like I figured out like what clergymen would wear but as far as their families what they would have worn, I didn't really see anything. I didn't look super hard but if you know of any places that have information about like what a clergyman's wife or what a clergyman's family would have worn, please comment below. I also tried looking up what Jane Austen would have worn because we know her dad was a reverend. So I feel like if we knew what Jane Austen would have worn, then we could sort of tell what Charlotte would have worn. I didn't look very hard, but I did look at a couple places about what Jane Austen would have worn herself. But it didn't really look like the places took into account the fact that she was a clergyman's daughter, and maybe it's not relevant, but to me it seems like, possibly, back in that time, a clergyman's family or a reverend's family would have been held to a different standard than just the regular fashion. I mean. Somehow I don't imagine a clergyman's daughter wearing something like this. I don't think it's too ridiculous to think that a clergyman's family may be held to a different standard of clothing than other people. Was the grey for Charlotte just a random choice? Did they just buy too much grey fabric? Is there any historical or artistic meaning in this? Did clergyman's wives actually just wear grey all the time? I don't know. I'd like to know, but I don't. And so the last time we see Charlotte in this movie is after Mr. Darcy gives Elizabeth the letter talking about Georgiana and all that. I think this is still the same day that they went to church. So this is probably the same as the church dress. So it may not be the same as dress number five, but it does look a lot like it to me. Anyways, this has been every single dress Charlotte Lucas wore in the 2005 Pride and Prejudice. Comment below which one's your favorite. Comment below again if you have any information about any of the stuff I didn't know about. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. And...